Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is How is Mass Measured in Outer Space? So, the nice thing about Newton's laws is that they are true and hold anywhere you are in the universe, including outer space. So, the second law of Newton for motion is that the sum of forces is equal to mass times acceleration. So we can consider gravitationally bound systems, such as solar systems, where you have planets orbiting stars and moons orbiting those planets. Or if you're considered, if you just consider a small mass and you want to measure that mass, but you don't have a balance uh, which exploits the gravity of the Earth, you can still use a different type of force. You can use a spring force, which is equal to the spring constant k times the distance away from uh, the spring at rest. So in space, if you have a spring and you know the spring constant and you attach the mass to the end of the spring, you can pull away at the spring, let go, and if there's little damping, this mass will exhibit simple harmonic motion, meaning it'll bounce back and forth between the point to which you stretched out the spring and a similar distance where the spring compresses. Now, if you let go of the mass right here and the mass bounces back some time later, t final, then you have a change in time, which is equal to tf minus t naught. And if there's little friction in the spring, little damping, then the mass will continue to oscillate with a period equal to that change in time. Now, if we examine the spring force, we know that the spring constant k is equal to the mass times the angular frequency squared. And if we know the period, we can calculate the mass if we know the spring constant. So you can perform the measurement here on Earth to examine and study what the spring constant is of a spring. And then you can take that system to outer space and play around with it for different masses that you don't know, and you can calculate the mass. So let's do that. So we know that the angular frequency is equal to, is equal to 2 pi times the linear frequency. And the linear frequency is just equal to 1 over the period. So the angular frequency is equal to 2 pi over the period. And the mass, then, is going to be equal to the spring constant divided the angular frequency squared. So we plug this into omega here. And we get the mass is equal to k times the period squared divided by 4 pi squared. So as long as we know the spring constant and this period, we can determine the mass. And we would have to know the period in seconds and the spring constant in the appropriate SI units. And the mass units would be in kilograms for MKS units. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is How is Mass Measured in Outer Space?